<laughs> like, see, they're transporting wood. Those ancient carriages had autopilot. I don't know why they removed the autopilot from the later forces. That was a joke. Of course. I have had people correct me on even more obvious jokes. Work with me! Oh, where are you going? Hey, wait! Block the road behind me! I will get through! Please, shot! Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah! Carrot seems to be very sturdy. They're not really damaging me. So I can just go around shooting them up. I will beat him. My sniper, Bo. And why I know that it's unrealistic to have like sniper bows, shotgun bows. Find my brothers. I like that the game has this. So let's take take a ride. Where are we going now? Where do we go? Block the road behind me! Ah, 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 where do we go? Sweet child of my eye. Ketterwood. And we have more Ketterwood than we just. Don't take my pony. You brony. What do you think you are? Pink Pinkie Pie? All right, let's see our tea while the horse does the other power. Um, to be honest, um, the horses still have kind of an autopilot, like, they will follow stuff without getting bump bumped into something, because they're like actual living beings with intelligence. Chariot hunting, the game. Yeah. I feel like a pharaoh. 
Except I don't actually marry my daughters. Yeah, the pharaohs didn't. The Egyptian royal families were extremely uh, incestual and had a wide amount of genetic defects because of that. Because unlike what Ananerbe thinks, in breeding there's not equal better genes. You get good genes, good genes, the same genes, and in the end he gets an inbred freak. And you get different genes, and you get beautiful, healthy children. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, music is beautiful, absolutely. So yeah, I get it. Well, this game has no free running uh, in story. That doesn't mean I don't miss it. But, like, the main thing with that is that everything is climbable suddenly. So instead of having uh, interesting, uh, pre-controlled, pre-built, uh, free-running uh, paths, You get a lot of things to climb. Top secrets. So these of CG Hermopolis Leopards then on the map. I remember that. East of Crocodilopolis, out of the shattered pyramid, with the one we're standing. A large beast of a god. Stares angrily at the pharaoh who shows no respect and hidden behind the blasphemer's head. Mm -hmm. uh, notice how After walking, after synchronizing, we had uh, it um, turned us to see a crocodile ass, which is Sobek. I did not mean to dive. Maybe crocodiles want to find over Sobek, the crocodile got it. got children of Sobek, something lumpy. Uh, I don't want to die. That's a Come on, Krakadilopolis. So this, unlike this, th th that other active temple of Sobek, we have this one, an inactive temple of Sobek. We need to look at the pharaoh who's 
staring without respect of the authority of the croc. It's abandoned, but people still come here to worship. It's abandoned, I don't see like the priests or anything. And here's the head. Mm hmm. Papyrus solved. Sekhmet spear. Yeah, baby! A unique spear that's not the cursed Sarisa. Critical hit rate, great. Critical hit damage, amazing. Health and kill, even better. So we got our perfect weapon. Go! The spear of Sekhmet, the lion... The lioness, the goddess of war. Egyptians oh. did, know, did not know a more fierce beast than a female lion. Because male lions are lazy, content to just lie around doing nothing, while the lionesses are the huntresses, yes. So much for people claiming that in Animal Kingdom like, all men are hunters and women are not nothing. Mm. With cats it's all other way. For them the revolution is female. So yeah, the god, the goddess of war in Egypt was a woman with a lion's head. <laughs> Unlike Greeks with their Ares. <laughs> Let's go down. There's probably another transmission. And in the end, I'll probably teleport back and forth between the um, uh, Leopard's Den, with the one which we found the scroll of thought for. Yeah, the golden question marks, the tomb of Amenhet the Third. I don't know who's that. Like, I'm not big on the dynastic history of Egypt. As I said, my favorite period is Amarna because it's fascinating uh, how much they tried to hide and ruin it. And the karma is that. It's probably the most sought after, uh, the most uh, famous pharaoh of Tutankhamun because of his tomb. Is the one that was uh, that they tried to destroy. Not only his tomb, I've read that in his tomb, like up to eighty percent of decorations were actually female ones refused by him because. When we hear in history that there were no female rulers of this or that, or this was the only female pharaoh, there were many queens who ruled in their own right. It's just not so friendly successors try to erase them from history, but very at success. So, <sighs> Akhenaton had a female successor who is either his wife Nefertiti or his daughter. Ma Mary in Hotep, uh, or how, how was she called? Mary something, Mary. Yes, Dr. Mary, right. And uh, their tombs were ravaged to make stuff for Tutankhamun. <laughs> whose tomb was one of the very few who were found uh, not robbed because they tried to. the next. The pharaoh that came after that tried to erase the whole Amarna period. So nobody knew where to look. 
because most tombs were uh, robbed in the same period they were built. You get hidden entrances. Warning and very travel, do not break the seal or the sense of time will consume you. Yeah, the curse of the mummy. That's one thing I miss here. Maybe it's not that historical, but the concept of trap tombs is amazing. Tomb Rider does that right. You always have traps, spike pits. And here you really don't. That's the first time they actually mentioned a, a curse. Which was like the main warning. Break all the seals to open. Yeah, of course, we have. Oh, the buns. How did he. Uh, from pushing triangle, it does nothing. Um, maybe dropping it? Yes, it worked. Ah. Uh, the sound of a moving door, it's so nostalgic for me. Playing Tomb Raider with my parents. I was little wee Kazumi. <laughs> a wee little Kazumi, yeah. So all the shining yellow question marks are generally for uh, release, release those in the image of him in the sacred pool, the third moon of the blood ritual. Must continue for three days to under summer. Green of plume, watchful of face, raised of brow, the raging one who came forth from the shine and tail of the great one who is in the sunshine. Honor them with bulls, revered them, worship the servants on the slate banks. This is so much Tomb Raider right now. A tomb that's not just a dark place like we had in uh, the big in the pyramids. I get it that why the pyramids were like just dark tombs because there were pyramids, but tombs with moats. Several halls. If that's a lo lost and forgotten tomb, how did the crocodiles even... Whatever. Here's where we came from. That one is closed. Thanks for arrows. I needed that. Mm -hmm, yeah, so there's nothing else. No, there are two paths. And we went in through one of them. I think this one.
And we can exit through the other. No, this is the one we came from. I want to explore the land uh, parts first. And then go underwater. But here we are, came to just another underwater thing. Ah, I was going to ask how does the light come here? I'm not jumping there. We should have went uh, underwater there, just my paranoia. <laughs> I hate underwater levels. Who doesn't? Well, this is not the sewer level. A timed escort mission in a sewer level. Every gamer's ultimate night. Mm. More silica gel. So that's where the meme comes from. That do not eat silica gel, do not eat it. And the guy eats it and he's congratulated. You have uh, uh, escaped the simulation. Congratulations. Welcome to the real world. Cat and let Oh. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. How do you speak under the water? <laughs> That's the part where we could, could have dived. Uh, he's a right as a stomach, the son of Nate. It's with his mouth, urinates, copulates with his palace. Ew. He's lord of seed who takes the women from the husband forever. I mean, the mud. Once, according to the desire of his heart. Creep. Second, the book to the spoiler of the Black Sands and the Ravager of Catfish. Ew. Priest behind guides him through the void. <coughs> Carbon crystal, that's what we need. I can buy two. <coughs> Can we climb up? There was an attempt to dive. <laughs> I 
I wanted to check one more thing. Uh, I'm like Columba. Oh, and one more thing! Uh, come on! I like the endless torches. Tomb Raider had flares, but you had to collect them. Here, I wouldn't mind if you had actually to stock up on uh, flints. Same way you stock up on <sighs> resources like that. Oh, we're in the same place. Nothing new, whatever. Come on, you phallic god of fornication! <laughs> That's not a jerk you expected, did you? Being used as a climbing past. Or maybe he did wish that! That even in death people would climb his... Climb his shaft. Weirdo creep. Hentai Erosobek mm. Inu A basket clear, stop any pursuit! Yeah, I am tired. Lock the road behind me! I will get through! Why did you impale a rebel? So we are near the Crocodilopolis. Like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. We will be uh, finishing the quest in the next episode. Bye bye. Right, so. There's a leopard lair. Which is fairly long uh, to reach.